What's up guys, it's RGT. Welcome to vlog number two on the vehicle. We do have some updates to go over. Some of my parts came in, so we're gonna be going over some of that stuff and we're gonna put it on the car today. Um, I did run by a, um, a uh, auto repair place that's about a mile down the road. I actually just got back from there, talked to them. I'm gonna have the vehicle towed there next Monday or Tuesday in order to have the exhaust work done and potentially do some uh, fluid draining and stuff like that. I think that'll give me a better idea of what I'm dealing with here. It could potentially even be all that the car really needs as far as the engine and whatnot is concerned. They're also gonna have them do spark plugs, check the fuel injectors, all that sort of stuff. But let's take a look at the parts that I have in. I'm gonna talk to you guys about these parts, answer some of the Q&A stuff that you guys were asking in that video, and then we'll put the parts in, so let's check it out. All right, so pretty basic stuff here. This is a leather strip material, uh, 3M, you just put it on there. For the tear in the back of the car, I don't know if this is going to be wide enough. I thought it was going to be wide enough. I'm not sure if it is. We'll find out. Exhaust wrap. I was gonna, when I initially thought it was just one hole in the exhaust, I was gonna wrap it. Um, obviously, that's not the case, so we're not gonna be using this, but, whatever it was like 17 dollars. oh let me give you guys pricing on this too because this is like y'all y'all are kind of crazy y'all think you know i'm gonna spend an arm and a leg on this shit no sir no sir this is a budget build sort of situation this was a whopping 16 dollars. this was 17 dollars. automotive ceiling strip um there are a few places that need this this was a whopping 10 dollars bunch of fuses just in case this was a whopping ten dollars here's something very important a lot of you guys are making fun of me like oh, why are you gonna mess with the air filter when the car won't start okay i understand that the air filter comes in tomorrow we'll take a look at the dirty one today i understand that that's not going to do anything but this potentially will do something this is an ovp relay when you saw the car there was a uh, light on for the um, anti-lock brake system S rough idle sluggish start the OVP relay is one of the main causes of that on these vehicles. I have looked stuff up, people. I'm not, I'm not completely stupid. Uh, this was like $25. Hopefully, this will be um, you know, a good thing. I already know where the OVP relay is on the current car right now, so that'll be good. And some throttle body cleaner. We're not going to take out the throttle body because I don't feel like it needs to be done. Um, I just want to do a basic thing. I know you're supposed to put your foot down or have something to put the foot down to open the throttle body. I probably won't get all into that because I don't know, I don't have like a piece of wood to put on it, but at least the throttle body that's shown will clean off some of that. Hopefully that will help. Maybe there's some gunk and buildup that we can't see in here. Uh, this was a whopping $10, I think. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be working on today. So I realized I never showed you guys the engine bay initially. Here's the engine bay. I mean, looking at it, it, it's not terrible, honestly. It looks like it's been sitting for a little while, but like, I, I don't notice any sort of leaks in vacuum seals and stuff like that. Um, it doesn't spill any fluids onto the ground. Uh, everything seems, you know, a little dusty, but nothing seems like super, super terrible. So hopefully that's a good thing. Um, all right, so first off, we're going to do the OVP relay. And as you can see, that is right back there. So I need to grab that old one and replace it with the new one. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. As you can see, a bit of corrosion on this. Um, probably not in the best shape. Those fuses probably aren't in all that great of shape either. So we got it out. Here is the hole that it comes out of and let's plug in our new one. All right, our new OVP relay is in, nice and snug. Pretty easy, it took me about two minutes to do that. So now let's take a look at the air filter situation and the throttle body. All right, so here is our air box filter. One thing about older cars that's nice is everything is very easily accessible. It's very easy to get to where you need to go for the most part and check out what you need to do. All right, got our latches off and as you can see, our throttle body is disgusting. So um, here's our air filter. We're not messing with that today. It's a, obviously a, a two second job to do. The air filter does not come in until tomorrow. So we'll put that in tomorrow. Um, we're gonna clean this up. We've got some paper towels. I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol on here as well to forget the grit and grime. And then we will uh, clean up that and see what we got. 
All right, so the housing is a bit more cleaned up here. For this, you know, we're just gonna throw it pretty much right on there. Um, we don't wanna touch the center piece there. We want to go around it on the rim. So that is what we are going to do with our throttle body cleaner and our paper towels. Alrighty, so we have that taken care of. Um, it's not the best job, but yeah, you know, it'll work for now, obviously. We're not, we're not trying to go too crazy here with everything but um yeah so now we're going to go into the interior take a look see if the strip i got is wide enough for the area and then i don't know maybe we'll try to start it up and see um if i fuck things up more all right so the good news is we are clear as far as the width is concerned you know it's not a perfect match like let's be real but it's pretty damn close and for this you know i'm not super worried about having it done or whatever like super super well done or whatnot like it's good enough so we'll go ahead and mess with that now so we got our paper towels and our rubbing alcohol I'll just clean the area a little bit make sure we're getting a nice clean surface in order to stick our product in uh, looks like it's about six inches long maybe five inches long depending on who you ask and how much knowledge she has about size so we're just gonna take a patch and we're gonna um, put it straight on here i need to buy a freaking um whatchamacallit a selfie stick so that i can like position it so you could see it but whatever all right so for a whopping what, 16 bucks for this strip i mean you know it's not perfect like i'm definitely not saying that it is but you know it's a hell of a lot better than trying to you know get a whole new back seat or something like that so for the time being like that definitely works like that looks fine to me i'm gonna go ahead and put another strip on this because that's starting to peel anyways and then it'll be kind of uniform so let's go ahead and do that not bad at all obviously up close it's it's not gonna look great but you know from a distance let's get a shot of a distance here uh i mean that looks fine to me you know obviously it's a bit raised but all things considered, that's better than having a huge gaping freaking hole in it. Let's see if we can start up the car though um, with our new sensor and uh, throttle body cleaner. Not bad. And that's staying on too. All right, so cool. We've made a little progress today. Look at that, staying on and everything. All right, nice, nice, nice. So maybe we actually did something to fix things. Um, all right, let's go to my final recap. I'm still running it, and I will say the idle is actually a hell of a lot better. This was like a fucking earthquake when I was in it last time I was filming, and it, it's much smoother now. It's still not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it is significantly better. I'm surprised the anti-lock brake light is still on with that new OBP relay sensor, but that's a win in my opinion. This is, this is a win in my opinion right now um just the fact and you can see the battery voltage is good just the fact that the idle is smoother it's still high but it's smoother that means we're making progress here so all right let's uh really go to the recap now so all things considered i think today was a pretty good day um the the better idling is definitely very good to see it hasn't felt that good since i purchased the car um i'm not sure that the throttle body cleaner did anything with that that was more of the obp relay um the strips on the leather rips i mean it looks for 16 dollars versus you know however much it would be to get a whole new set of seats or to have it professionally redone you can't beat it we're not going for absolute perfection with this car i just want it to look nice i want it to be a proper looking car and that's just 3m tape so we can always just take it off whenever we get to a point of where we can do something proper with that but i'm feeling good about things um the next update will be um sometime this week my car detailer is coming today to do my main car and surprise he'll also be doing that car so we'll get a better idea you know paint wise about what needs to be done um interior is going to get cleaned as well on that car and then the air filter comes in tomorrow so we'll go ahead and throw that in and see if it makes a difference i actually think it's supposed to rain for the next few days so i don't even know why i'm getting the car detailed obviously the one car needs it but at some point i'll have an update at least before we send it to the shop next week next 
Monday or Tuesday. I will set all of that up and then get it to the shop. And then hopefully we'll get a much better clear image of what we got to do. But I'm feeling good about today's progress. So, you know, that's all that matters. Let me know if you're enjoying these in the comments section down below. Um, thank you to everyone who uh, watched the first video. 17,000 views. I definitely did not expect that. I'm the car guy now, daddy. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.